My name is Willie. Last name is Ethan. Um, I got a phone call last night uh, from someone here named Pastor Wright. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, this telephone call was such a an on time uh, call because at the time that the call I was really in a bad place. And um, the purpose of this call was to, um, well, I'm thinking that the purpose of this call was to pray for me. Yep. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, because that's what it happened. That's right. Yeah. Because I was, um, I enrolled in this class, you know, and I, and I didn't, I didn't finish it. Because I was, because of something that was going on with me, uh, well, I'm going to put it, say it like it is. Say it. Because of a Tell warfare it. Okay. that uh, I was in and didn't know how to deal with it. Partly dealing with my health and partly dealing with uh, my surroundings. Um, all short and classifying that surrounding as demonic. But the more and more I think about it, the more and more uh, I have to consider the truth in it. That I finally uh, had to get away from that environment. Um, so I eventually got away from ministry completely, you know, and um, I was convinced to, to complete what I had started here. Okay, so Pastor Wright uh, had words to say yes. to me that I think that only God could have told me to say. You know, because he uh, he brought me out of a out of a funk. I'm going to use that term because that's what it felt like. Uh -huh. <laughs> that that I could come back and be renewed, reestablished, Hallelujah, restored, so to speak. And on my way here, for some reason or another, I got lost. I was supposed to be here an hour ago. Yeah. I left and plenty of time to get here an hour ago. Yeah. But my mind was telling me that I didn't need to go my, the way that I, I knew that I could go a different way. Yes. That way, that we way up uh, in Orange County, around the borderlines of La Mara in Orange County. <laughs> so, you know, that's really one of the reasons I'm late, I'm late now. You know, so, I'm here, you know, like, uh, recognizing the spiritual warfare and why it is happening. You know, it's something that we as believers and ministers of the Word can sometimes take it in negative ways. But we have to look at God and say that God knows what he's doing. Amen. And I have to see God in wherever he is. It's, it's happening. Amen. So I was, I was discouraged many times to turn around and go back home. But it's like everything else is dealing with me now that I have to really and truly press. Amen. Well, um, I guess God is teaching me the benefits of pressing. Hallelujah. You know, and I can, I'm looking forward to getting back into the class and, uh, and completing it. But out of all the things that has happened, God has always given me a platform to do something for Him teach the Bible studies here or there, you know. Uh, I recognize that what is in me is without repentance. That's right. 
and their God would put me where I'm not just going to limit myself, limit it to me, but to anyone who desires to to uplift His name. Anyone who walks in the way of, 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 of the Lord, that God will use them in different ways that they didn't think was possible. Out of all the things I used to do, uh, as far as teaching the Word of God through Bible studies and sharing the Word of God, whether or not it's from a podium from narcotics anonymous or alcoholics anonymous, it's still a fact. That's right. And it's without, and, uh, and I can say that it is, um, it is always with conviction. Amen. And now it's just a hearsay um, of something that is real in my life, that this is who I am. Um, when I first walked in the door, the minister was up here talking about being a true Christian. And stop playing with God. And from what I just got out of, was exactly that. People playing with God and playing church. Uh, this was a place that caters to hurt the people. People that need to see Christ in us. And that's one of the reasons I was going to search a hard time, I would say, but it's promotionless times dealing with that. Because I can see the, I can see the effects of these um, these people play, playing with God and playing church that they couldn't really get any positive response from them. But anyway, I'm here now. I've seen the word from Pastor Wright last night. He touched my heart. Amen. And I think that it can only, something that can only come from God. Amen. And this is what I took it as, you know, as, as God has put it on, put it upon his heart to call me and help me to come back in to, to renew my, well, to renew my responsibilities. That I have made it to him. Amen. So here I am as an obedient child of God, ready to be restored. Amen. Thank you for that.